Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we are checking out Galaxy Quest. This is a movie that I'm really excited to watch but also one that I know I have seen before. I saw this movie a really long time ago when I was a kid before I'd seen any Star Trek movies and I know that I enjoyed it. I know that Alan Rickman is in this movie with like a weird head I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Tim Allen is in this movie as well like I remember very vague snippets of this movie but the reason I'm jumping back into this movie today is because I've heard that this movie is sort of a parody or something like that of Star Trek and now that I've seen all the Star Trek movies plus I'm going through the original series and I've also seen some of TNG on the channel I thought I might as well give this movie a shot because I bet I'm going to understand it a lot more. I bet it's going to be a lot more fun because I've seen Star Trek. But yeah, as far as the actual plot of this movie goes, I don't really remember too much besides the fact that I'm pretty sure Galaxy Quest was some form of TV show or, or movie series. I think it was a TV show and then something happens and they go into space. I'm not quite sure what happens. That's kind of like all I remember of this movie so I'm really excited to check it out I've heard a lot of people recommend this movie to me saying it's a lot of fun so I'm really hoping I'm I just have a blast watching this thing and before we get into this reaction let me do the lighting so we turn the light we said what color it should be Boop. nice 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 okay so the lighting today I'm actually just gonna go blue I think because I don't really know what color to choose for this, but if we're in space, I think blue is going to be a good choice for the lighting. And if you'd like to check out more of my reactions, you can head over to my Patreon of Uncut Reactions to many of the movies I watch on YouTube as well as early access reactions to my movies that come out one week early. Thank you so much if you check it out, now let's get back to the video. Okay, let's get into this thing. I hope you enjoy my reaction, and hopefully it is a lot, a lot, a lot of fun to Galaxy Quest. Hey, look at this aspect ratio. <laughs> Wait, this is already similar to TRTGT TOS, the original series. You're working, Commander. I don't like it. It was too easy. <laughs> no. This is exactly like Star Trek. Is that the Gordy Weaver? It's a core meltdown, sir. It can't be stopped. Surrender. <laughs> the face. Option. No. Never give up. Never surrender. Yeah. Activate the Omega 13. Oh no, not the Omega 13. Oh no, not the to be continued. That's even better than the TNG to be continued. Fire. Yeah. Yeah. And it's Sigourney Weaver. Okay. It's e A. Protector. Yeah. yeah. Red scarf, black. <laughs> this is amazing. Great prosthetics, though, on his head. How did I come to this? <laughs> the third. Five curtain calls. There were five curtain calls. I was an actor. Do you think Leonard Nimoy does this as well? Or do you think he did this? He was like, look at me. How am I Spock? Why am I Spock? Paragraphs about my boobs and how they fit into my suit. No one even bothered to ask. It's sort of like a horror, you know? Like, she doesn't really do that much in this show. She's just there to be a woman in the show. Okay. What did I do? Hmm? You're late. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Come on, old friend, old friend. You can't leave like that. Come on. My personal favorite, Gwen DeMarco. <laughs> I love the behind the scenes drama. I won't. And nothing you say will make me. The show must go on. Damn you. <laughs> that was so easy. My grandpa's hammer. You shall be avenged. Yeah. <laughs> he must hate that line. Tiger, 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 Jason. Yes, man. Yeah. Dude, this guy is just absorbing all this fame from the past. You know. <laughs> It'd probably be pretty cool for these extras in the crowd as well. Never surrender. Because they just get to look at all these guys on screen, these actual famous actors on 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 stage, I should say. Um, guy, you probably don't remember me, do you? It's the sunglasses, right? No. By the sons of Warvan, I shall avenge you. <laughs> he is so done with life. I think we all remember what happened to that beast on Enoch Seven, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I I remember. As much as he loves himself. 
Excuse me. But he's also good at telling stories. Oh my god, it's this guy. What's his name? Gwen! Gwen! <laughs> look at them. Oh, oh. Speak to you, it is a matter of supreme importance. We are. These guys are like aliens, aren't they? I remember these these guys is a lot to do memory of my mind. The agent and make sure there's a limo at my house. Last time I did one of these gigs, they shoved me in the back of a Toyota. Certainly, but um Mum. Mum. <laughs> is that Dwight Schrute? Is that Dwight Schrute? <laughs> oh my god, that guy's makeup is beautiful. That's a 15 bucks a pop. These guys haven't had a real acting job for 20 years. This is all they do. But why are you at the convention then, idiots? Yeah, he's a laughing stock, even to his face. It's pathetic. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. The Galaxy Quest dancers are almost on. Aw, poor guy. Poor guy. He's riding on the high from the past. But really, right now, he might just be a nobody. But I think you're a somebody. Right, the thing is that online blueprints clearly indicate that deck B is independent of the kind of He's gonna get mad, he's gonna be like, it's a show. Just listen on this. There theory. is no quantum flux, there's no auxiliary, there's no god. This is gonna come important later, get ready. Cause he's gonna have to, ah uh, yeah, he's gonna have to like be kept of a ship or something and this is gonna be important, what this guy's saying right now. Is it like that? Not to a fan. I mean, it was just weird. Gwen. Why do you still have that on your head? As long as there's injustice, whenever a Targathian baby cries out- He's watching his own show? He has a really nice house though. Mm. <laughs> They're so funny. In my house, Is I beg you to hear our plea. We are Thermians from the oh. Klaatu Nebula. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, sure. Hunted and slaughtered by Rathaseret. Oh, what the heck? Please, Commander, you are our last hope. <laughs> I love how they talk, and I love how they're just staring at him and smiling. They're so creepy. Would you guys look for another shoe? It looks like this, please. Yeah. <laughs> They're so amazing. Following the great nebula burst, our people were one. Pe What's your name? Okay. Okay. Her translator is broken. <laughs> <laughs> the foolishness, and it was in this time of dissension. That, that is cool. That was cool. Mm. Ceres has moved the deadline. We are a, a, we Oh my god, he looks like hell. Would you like to don your uniform? No, you know what? I'd like to skip that. I got this gig in, in Van Nuys in about a quarter of an hour. Is that well, you're not going to be making that. That is a sick looking ship. Negotiations. What? That's a cool looking man. I see fear. That is expected. Mm -hmm. Ah. Is he gonna think this is a game the entire time? And pain, mm. as you cannot imagine. First, ah, I require right. the Omega. <laughs> He's not taking him seriously, this is hilarious. Fire blue particle cannons full, red particle cannons full. That should take care of old lobster head, shouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they're terrified. On him. Yeah, yeah, long live, uh, what was your planet called? Thermia. Long live Thermia, this way? Yeah, it's not gonna be living for much longer. Whoa, that was cool. They got some almost Space Odyssey drums in the background. What the heck though? <laughs> that is so cool looking. Good transition there, good transition. But we've never seen space age values like we've seen here. Oh my god, they're so done with everything. By Grabthar's hammer. What a savings. Oh my god, he wants to die. He wants to die. Oh, I can't believe they're getting hired for super small things like this. Oh, that would feel so humiliating in a way. Like aliens? They were aliens. They were termites or, or dalmatians. I can't really remember because I was kind of hungover. They were termites or dalmatians. You were close. I know what you're thinking, but I can prove it. They gave me this. Wrong one. But, but can you talk to people in space on those? Protector, this is the commander. Over. Oh, uh, yeah, it's the wrong one. You want me back? Isn't this amazing? They want me back, and I want you guys to go with me, please. The, 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 yeah, come on, come on, come. Yes! You, you're, I like that this movie is sort of Alexander, like, this is making fun of Star Trek, but at the same time, it's a lot of love of Star Trek. Like, it's not a parody, but it's a 
Really good comedy. Us this way. It's another thing to do it to your fans. She's not a fan. This is a this is a termite. <laughs> it's a giant termite if it's a termite. I mean, who knows the next time he'll ask us. But he was drunk. You really think he was talking about a job? Yeah, it was a job. Guys, come on. You guys need it. You guys need the money. Mind. Protector requesting four interstellar. What? Me too. Who are you? Forward to meeting you all in person when you arrive at the ship. End transmission. Oh, wait, that was sick. She's a hologram. <laughs> Guys, it's okay. That's just how the termites talk. Oh, that's what they look like. This would be terrifying. This would be absolutely terrifying. Nice cave. Who wants the grand tour? <laughs> that too would be my reaction. That was a hell of a thing. <laughs> this guy's my favorite. He's just okay. He's just ready to go. Talk to Lazarus. Talk to Lazarus. <laughs> They're all whispering his name. You. Crewman Lewis. Guy. 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 Aspect of our society from your example, and it has saved us. Oh, that's actually really sweet. I bet this would be so surreal. Oh my god. Oh yeah. That's kind of cool. This kind of reminds me of, that reminded me of a very brief version of the Star Trek flyby, like the Enterprise flyby in the first Star Trek movie. Favorite of the Avengers. I mean, Merrick. Whoa, that is an infinite amount of soldiers. He's gonna be walking for years if he wants to go see all of them. Why are you just staring at him? If you would all take your positions. Oh my god, this would be so cool. Remember, some of the crew has requested to be present at this historic event. Yeah, bring them in. Ah! Why wow, this is really feel good at the moment. I really like this. <laughs> Laredo, take us out. <laughs> all the pressure's on you. That is cool. <laughs> that feels so epic. Yeah, this has that same like magical quality as the Enterprise, you know? Oh, you're drifting. You're drifting. Oh, I hate the noise. That was clean, that was smooth. That planet is all but destroyed. How are you enjoying your- I guess maybe it's a spaceport, so maybe it's not the planet, but I think that is the planet. Program the food synthesizer for each of you based on the regional menu of your birthplace. Oh, that's disgusting. We don't know what it does either. Why don't you just turn it on and see what it does? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, don't do that. The device would act as a molecular explosive, causing a chain reaction that would obliterate all matter in the universe. Seems like this really matters a lot. Our former commander was not strong. Oh, he got tortured. You still require incentive. <laughs> Seems like he is strong after surviving three days. You shall die! Oh, poor guy. That's a wrap. There's nothing to think about. I'm not even supposed to be here. I got screw man number six. I'm expendable. I'm expendable. <laughs> you know, he's so true. He's a red shirt. I've raised Saris on Zeta frequency. Mathazar, my We meet again, Commander. He's a little angry now. Oh, he has a thing over one of his eyes. And before, the whole thing was just a. a <laughs> Just a misunderstanding. It actually was. He's as stupid as he is ugly. Hello. Come here. Jason. Not now, Gwen. No. Sit, sit. 
It's still on. It's still on. It's still on. Okay. All right, Gwen. <clears throat> Put me back on with it. Well, Gwen didn't take him off. Perhaps I'm not as stupid as I am ugly, Commander. That was a good comeback for him. Moving toward the green thingy. What? Red thingy. There's a missile. There's a missile. Shields up. Shields up. We gotta get out of here. Move the ship. Turn it. Move. Let's go. Oh. Oh, that was a big explosion. That's a lot of missiles. Thrust ahead. Boom. <laughs> that's what that's what he said thrust ahead <laughs> oh guys you gotta stop getting hit Whoa! so turbo is their warp darn computer hi guys listen there he's he the engineer generators won't take it the ship <laughs> this guy's amazing Why is this epic, actually? <laughs> oh, guys, you're gonna have all of these mines chasing you. Oh, you guys. There's some good budget in this movie. Alex, where are you going? To see if there's a pub. <laughs> you know what? Fair enough. I love the silence now that the ship is basically dead. It's fractured. Can it be repaired? Computer. I love how she's just a communication between everything. On board? Computer. Is there a replacement beryllium sphere on board? Why does she have to repeat everything? Discs on board. No, we have no extra. I heard, I heard you, I heard you. Look, I have one job on this lousy ship. It's stupid, but I'm gonna do it. Oh, that's kind of funny. Yes, in fact, we have begun to document our history from your example. No, that's not what they mean. Surely you don't think that Gilligan's Island is a... Oh, oh, they do. Oh. It's in common with Sarah's. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I could listen to these guys talk for hours. <laughs> That guy, that guy is my favorite. The engineer is my favorite. He's just so calm about everything. By Granthar's hammer, Dr. Lazarus. Don't do that. I'm not kidding. By the end of the movie, he's going to say by Granthar's hammer in a way that's important. Never give up. It's going to be like his kill line or something like that. You know, they didn't skimp out on this movie, you know? Like, there's actually money poured into it. I thought it was gonna be a little, like, cheesy parody sort of thing, but it's not. And it kills me, but now I'm taking on the guy who gets killed by some monster five minutes after we land on the plane. Yeah, <laughs> that always happens. What's my last name? It's, uh, um, um. Yeah, if you don't know his full name, then that's it. You have a last name. Do I? Do I? Oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, uh. See this guy, this is my favorite character. He's just having a laugh. Hey, don't open that! It's an alien planet! Is there air? You don't know! <laughs> I love this guy. Seems okay. Guy is also one of my favorites because he's like every normal person, you know? Plus, if I was actually in Star Trek, for example, and I went on a mission with Kirk, Spock, and Bones, and then it was just me, and Every single person that I know who went on a mission with them had died in the past. I wouldn't want to go as well. <laughs> you think people would start to notice these things in the actual universe? Wow. Must be some sort of mining facility. That's really cool. Oh, who are you? Look at that. Would you look at that? They're kind of cute. They look like little children. They're really cute. Sure. I mean, they're like three years old. Miners, not miners. <laughs> I almost made that joke earlier, but then I didn't. They're gonna get ugly somehow. There's gonna be a million more of them. He's doing every, like, trope. They're gonna eat him. They're gonna eat him. Oh. Oh, that's horrible. That's horrible. 
Let's get out of here before one of those things kills Guy. Wait a minute. We're before one of those things kills Guy, did you hear that? I'm so familiar. Assault on Voltrex 3, episode 81. We're doing episode 80. <laughs> That's the one that Guy dies in. He's no more equipped to lead us than this fella. No offense. Uh, I think they heard you guys. Hands like this. Call! Call! What are you, an infant? Look, <laughs> we have these. What are you, an infant? <laughs> that was so unnecessary. Never surrender! Oh, oh shut, shut up. up. Oh, oh, Jason! That cabinet! Use your stuff. Use your stuff. Oh, Don't look back. Do not look back. That is terrifying, like little munchkins chasing you. Yes, okay, you got he deserved that right now. But I can't stop it, it's on autopilot! No, leave him! No! <laughs> leave him! Of course, it's always about you, isn't it? You're mad at him, he's gonna die probably. <laughs> Maybe they're gonna be very curious about him. Oh, oh, hey, uh, oh, what uh, the heck uh, is uh, that? Uh, hey, that's practical. That looks sick. Diced into cubes and set up there in a million pieces? Right. Please <laughs> say, isn't it, Tim? It has never been successfully tested. What did he say? Oh, days. I can't. I, I, I can supervise. Jason, we're gonna test it. On what? On you. Oh, no, on this thing. On this pig thing, it's gonna turn into goop. Oh. Oh, that is disgusting. Oh no, everything's fine. But the animal is inside out. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It turned inside out? Oh god, that is disgusting. If the pig lizard is gone, why are they still young Gorignac? Because maybe that was just the first course. I think the pig lizard was Gorignac. What the hell are you talking about? It's like a rock beast. Oh, darn. Oh. Beat me up, Scotty. Beat me up, Scotty. Not even, Guan's not even my real name. I mean, Fred's no good, Jason. You're just gonna have to kill it. Kill it? How are you gonna kill it? Guys, Tommy! Don't put him out to the throat! It's vulnerable spot! It's a rocket! <laughs> what a line. Sort of rudimentary lays. A leg! Get off the line, guy! <laughs> Construct a weapon, kind of like an arena. Is you, Fred? You just stop trying. Yes, here's a speech. No doubt about it, Fred. Oh, here comes the moment. Fred, can you hear me? Oh, the zip up. Digitize me, Fred! Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh. So you managed to get your shirt off. <laughs> we have no reason to go back. Sure you do. Family, friends, come on. We are all that is left. You got destroyed? Are you serious? Mathazar. Quaylek. What happened? So why can't we reach them? Oh, they happened. I'm the... Thank God you're alive. Oh, they're torturing him? Oh, look at... Oh, someone punched Saris. I said I don't know. No. I don't know. Oh. A booby trap. I don't know. The fact that it transforms, it transforms into its original self when it gets electrocuted is so sad. Prepare a tear harness for the female. Oh no. You don't know anything. Explain. Go ahead. So Come out with the truth now. Explain to him who you all really are. Oh, this is gonna make me so sad. He doesn't understand. Explain as you would a child. It's make believe, it's lying, it's deception. Oh. Yes, you understand that, don't you, Mathazar? Oh. We, we don't have a uh, ship. <laughs> there it is. It's a model. Our digital conveyor is a... It's Christmas tree lights. Aww. What was that top the saddest moments of all time? He's so innocent. Fire the reactor core to overload. 
I would like to blow this troublesome. No, no. It's time for you to become a captain. Down, overridden. Core implosion estimated in nine minutes. Nine minutes? Okay. Oh my god, my voice just <laughs> my voice just died there. You guys got nine minutes to do your things. So 17. You seen stealing hack. <laughs> yes, get him mad at you. Nice! That was good. God! God! Throw them out. Throw them out the airlock. <laughs> well done, buddy. Well done. Sorry, was, the door's a little sticky. Did you see that? I'll get one of my boys up here. <laughs> this is my favorite character. Look. Oh. Oh. Before those thermids run out of air. Alexander. Get to the barracks, see if you can't wedge the door in case they can't do that. Okay. Yes, good captaining. I don't know how to shut down the neutron reactor either. No, I don't. But I know someone who does. Oh, the script writer. Oh, no, 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 this guy. Brendan, honey. Garbage. Yes, this guy. Hello? Got him. Listen to me. This is Jason Nesmith. He's taggered of NSEA protection. Oh, my God, this would be amazing. Okay. What's your name, son? Brandon? <laughs> Clearly that is just a TV show. Oh, hold on. I know there's no Wait a minute. Stop, stop for a second. No, there is. There is. It's all real now. It's all real. Oh my god, I knew it. <laughs> Relic? What are you doing up there? He's hiding. I avoided capture by using your Mokhtar stealth haze. Oh my god, you're a genius. Alright, we're at level C hallway 5. Now what? Go to weapons. He has this on his computer. He built like this amazing 3D model on his computer. I do is turn off the valve to the barracks. Well, you got some guards to go through first. Pedal to the metal, commander. Pedal to the metal, commander. Yeah, you gotta say that. Gave custody. What? Oh. And there's your proof. Just continue straight for 50 meters. Dance. Yeah, so true. Oh, this is really sad. John spinning fan that we have in every single. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Bomb capable of destroying pretty much everything in about 13 seconds. 13 seconds. Matter rearranger. Expecting a 13 second time jump to the past. Really not enough time to do anything of any importance. Be time to redeem a single mistake. Yeah. Yeah, true. That's gonna come important later. Something's gonna happen and they're gonna have to get 13 seconds back. It's suicide. I'm just a glorified extra, Fred. I'm a dead man. No, you're not. No, you're not. I'd rather go out a hero than a coward. But he's a hero. The Rock, to Rock, the Rock, to Rock, the Rock, to Rock, the Rock, the Rock. It worked. It's working. Chompers? Why is this in the ship? I have to do this! It makes no logical sense! Why is it here? Because it's on the television! <laughs> That's what I'm saying, it does make no logical sense. Go! Stop! 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 What's the fire for? Whoever wrote this episode should die! <laughs> uh, yeah, it does make no logical sense, but it's so funny. <laughs> Oh, good idea. Good idea. It's the simple things in life you treasure. <laughs> Get a room, guys. Okay. Um, oh. Hey, Fred. Oh. Hey, Fred. This guy's into tentacle porn. He is. Aww. He was almost as like happy. He's like, yes, I'm in space. I'm free. Yes. Commander Taggart has saved us! Uh. Oh, again, he gets all the praise. Let's get back to the command deck. No. No. Rewind time 13 seconds, please. Oh. But even though we had never before met, I always considered you as a father to me. Oh, what? That's so cute. By Grabthar's hammer, by the sun's 
of Warvan, you shall be avenged. Yeah, that gave me chills. What the heck? No. You better avenge him now. Come on. Yes, destroy him. Oh, nice. Okay, just push the blue button. Is that it? Yeah, why? What's wrong? Not that I just thought it would be more complicated than that. <laughs> so simple. It's not working. Six, five, four, three. What's gonna happen? What did happen? Stopped at one second? Oh, the timers always stop at one second. Um. Oh, it's so annoying. Oh my god, but it's so true at the same time. <laughs> oh, we need that armor back up. Yes, yes, this is the moment. Into the field! Go! Your pilot isn't as good as Tommy. I could try. Make like a trail behind you of mines? I can't, sir. What? Why not? Because they're coming right at us. <laughs> Let's go. They're gonna have like mines trailing them. This is really cool. I am a general. And I am a commander. It doesn't take a great actor to recognize a bad one. You're sweating. You fail to realize that we- He is sweating. And what you fail to realize is my ship is dragging mines. So many of them. Look at all these explosions. Oh, nice. Go team, go team, go team, go team, go team. I need a Galaxy Quest 2, guys. Come on, make it a sequel. Make it happen. <laughs> so he thinks he, they lied about the lie? Any objections? <laughs> All right, set her up. Oh, he doesn't want them to go home. Mathazar, I think you, your people have a great commander. Aww. You know what? Yes. Aww. Mathazar. Math is our. That is not what a black hole looks like, but I'll accept it. It's more of a wormhole than a black hole. There was an energy surge from Cyrus's ship. Let's not worry about that right now, Alexander. 13 seconds. 13 seconds, maybe. The Omega 13. Fred? What the heck? What's happening? Oh, come on. This is when the 13 seconds is gonna have to happen. <laughs> this is so unexpected though. Everyone is dying. He's either gonna destroy the world or reset time by 13 seconds. Oh, that's sick. That's Sarah's! Listen to me! I'm telling you, it's not Fred! That's- Oh, he's still gonna shoot everyone. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> Thought they were gonna have to reset time again. Never give up! Never surrender! Yeah! <laughs> Why is he so happy about it? Mathazar! Goodbye, my friends. Live long and prosper. Oh, that's adorable. On tab, on. <laughs> Do it one more time. <laughs> the Vox soldier frequency carrier and use Roman candles for visual confirmation. Fair enough. Well, he's outside. <laughs> so true. That's what my parents would say too. Actually, no, they would. They'd be like, "Stay inside. You don't have to do that. You're gonna get in trouble." You really risk getting your arm cut off there. Oh, they're gonna step out and it's basically the stage. It's gonna be so epic. Oh, 
Oh, the entrance of a lifetime. <laughs> That's amazing. Yes! Yes! <laughs> She's like, what's happening? Another shipmate! Another shipmate! Oh, and it's gonna be a big show where they kill this guy on stage. Jason, 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 Jason. Yes, yes! Oh no, behind you, behind you. They're all shooting little things at him, that's hilarious. <laughs> that was so sick. That actually would have been so sick to watch. Hey, protector! <laughs> Fair enough. The announcer in the background is just going, wow, wow, give it up. Wow, guys, wow. So funny. My Galaxy Quest t shirt on your way out. Thank you. How's me bowing too? I'm on stage. Galaxy Back Quest again after 18 continue. years, the new adventures of Galaxy this. Quest. Someone make Galaxy Quest for real. Someone make another movie or something. Jane Doe, her name is Jane Doe. Yes. Security chief. He's the security chief. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, make Galaxy Quest 2, everyone. Please make Galaxy Quest 2. Why is Back to the Future 3 the movie that's suggested next? Interesting suggestion, Amazon Prime. And that was my reaction to Galaxy Quest, the 1999 sci-fi action sort of Star Trek seemingly seeming movie. That was a really weird sentence. Starring Sigourney Weaver, Tim Allen, Alan Rickman, Tony Shalhoub, Sam Rockwell, Justin Long, that's who it was, and Rain... Wilson for a very very small chunk of it. Also Enrico Calan Calantoni Calantoni as Malthazar. I have to just give him give him a shout out because he was great in that role. This movie was honestly not what I expected and the very limited things that I remembered from this movie after watching it as a kid. Um it was it was just very it was just very different. I thought this movie was gonna be a lot more parody style. I thought it was gonna be like a lean a lot heavier into the Star Trek parody. I thought it was gonna be a lot cheaper looking, sort of like the parodies that you've seen in the past, you know, like the Naked Gun and stuff like that. But it wasn't. This movie was just a regular movie with a lot of Star Trek influences and to me watching this movie this didn't feel like a Star Trek parody it didn't feel like it was making fun of Star Trek or the Star Trek formula or the sci-fi formula in general but it felt more like a love letter to Star Trek and the sci-fi formula in general and that's what I really appreciated about it they would do things they would make fun of things you know mostly Sam Rockwell's character would make fun of the fact that he was basically like a red shirt and he was gonna die and stuff like that and all these TV tropes and while that was really funny it still didn't feel like it was harming the Star Trek reputation or the Star Trek legacy in fact it actually made me want to go and watch Star Trek and that's something that this movie made me want to do I was saying it during the credit in the uncut reaction that when they were showing the original Gal Galaxy Quest show on in on air in this movie, it made me want to go and watch the original series. It made me want to go and watch the Next Generation show, and it made me really appreciate the fact that I get to watch that show at the moment for the first time. And I think that's the the best part of this movie for me is that it wasn't making fun of Star Trek to degrade Star Trek or anything like that. It was making fun of Star Trek and tropes of Star Trek and tropes of sci-fi because it really appreciates what Star Trek has done for the sci-fi genre. And so in that aspect, the comedy was way different. The comedy was more so like a, a regular comedy movie than a parody, mo parody movie with over-the-top comedic effects and stuff like that and slapstick comedy. It was way more dialogue-driven and maybe visual-driven humor instead of just like this really whacked-out style, sort of, again, like The Naked Gun, which is 
more of a parody movie. And then also the budget for this movie. As I said earlier, I thought the budget for this movie, this movie in general, was going to look really, really cheap or cheaper than a lot of things, but it looked really good. Like, there was a budget in this movie. We, there were, first of all, star actors in this. I don't know how they got star actors to be in a movie called Galaxy Quest, which kind of sounds like a ripoff of Star Trek, first of all, but then you got these incredible effects, you got this really good score, and then you also have really good quippy writing to go along with it with some really dramatic serious moments sprinkled in and those dramatic serious moments didn't I didn't expect in this movie so when they hit they hit for me because they just came out of the blue in a good way but before I get into everything let me just talk about the reviews for this movie then we're gonna get into the score and then just kind of everything else that I liked about this movie because I did really enjoy this movie overall okay so 7.4 out of 10 on IMDb and 90% on Rotten Tomatoes so it seems like critics really like this movie more than audiences, but 7.4 out of 10, again, is not a bad score, especially for a sci-fi comedy movie. It's, it's, it's sci-fi is already a genre that some people just disregard, and comedy is a genre that is very hit or miss among people, so merging those two together can definitely lead to some, maybe not backlash is the right word, but you know, people would turn their heads at like a sci-fi comedy, They'd be like, that is just cheap and cheesy, and this is not fun, and if you haven't seen Star Trek, you might not not enjoy this movie as much as the next person but as someone who has seen Star Trek and now I have seen this movie I thought this movie was really funny it was really well written and I'm really glad that a lot of people seem to really like this movie seem to have a lot of humor with this movie is not the right thing to say I meant to say seem to have a lot of fun with this movie but for some reason seem to have a lot of humor with this movie just came out but you know what I'm trying to say I'm really glad that people seem to appreciate this movie which could have gone just hidden in the passage of time and stuff like that but so many comments were asking me to watch Galaxy Quest so it's really cool that this movie has still kind of stuck in people's heads and that people who love Star Trek also love Galaxy Quest because again I think this movie feels more like a love letter to Star Trek and the sci-fi genre in general rather than something that is just making fun of Star Trek and the tropes in that show. The score for this movie as well was really good it was just very dramatic and there were more, <laughs> this is gonna sound weird, but there were more instruments in the score. It was more orchestral than I thought it was going to be. Again, when I was going into this movie, I thought it was gonna be a cheaper movie, a parody movie. I didn't think the score was gonna be anything interesting, but there was a moment at the start of the movie, or maybe not even at the start of the movie. It was a part of the movie where the ship is flying, like their ship is flying over the evil guy's ship, and uh, Daryl Mitchell's character is driving the ship. It's one of the first times that he actually drives the ship and he flies super close to the ship. The music at that point in time was really, really well done. It was really loud. It was dramatic. There was this beautiful like choir in the background, almost like this angelic singing. It was very faint, but it was there. It just added a lot to the song as well. But like that was the moment where I was like, wait, the music in this movie is actually pretty good. And then I was like, wait, the effects in this movie are actually really good. You know, that's when I started noticing everything else about the movie. And I was like, this there's actually like a budget in this movie, but yeah, the score in this movie, while I didn't notice it all the time, I thought the moments where I did notice it, it was really, really well done. And also the theme song for the movie, that dun 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 dun, that, that, I think that's what it was. It was, it was really good. It was very catchy. And again, I think it just encompassed the heroic but fun nature of this film. The effects in this movie as well were really, really good, especially in 1999. They looked a little like newer than 1999, which I think is a compliment because some of the effects looked really good. That rock monster on the planet looked really good. It didn't look out of place at all. There were definitely moments in this movie where you could see a green screen outline here or there, but very, very rarely, I would say. It was very well incorporated, not just the rock monster, but all the effects were very well incorporated into the movie and they never took me out of the movie. If you think back to something like Air Force One, which I recently watched on the channel, that plane crash into the water, that takes you out of the movie. Even is it just looks bad, you know? It just it just looks bad. It looks aged, it looks dated. The effects in this movie didn't look that dated, and I think that's because they used so many practical effects mixed with visual effects, and so the visual effects, whenever you would see a visual effects shot, it was usually just a visual effects shot. There weren't really any live action elements in it, save for the aliens on the planet and then the uh, big rock monster as well. But when we were on the ship, there were no 
or almost no visual effects. It was all practical effects from the aliens to the actual set to maybe even the, I mean, space would have been a green screen, but it's very, very, it's very minimal because it's in the background and stuff like that. And we have the practical sets. So the, combina the, the combination of practical and visual and almost separating the two where if we're close quarters, we have practical. And then if we're separated and we're far away, we have vision, we have computer effects like the space battles and stuff like that. I think it did a really good job of grounding you in those effects and not making them stand out because if you had like these fake effects with live action things, like the times the effects were most notable for me and not when they were like all visual effects because even when they're all visual effects, it still felt more real than when they were on the surface of the planet and they had like the little green aliens chasing after them because they were mixing these digital effects with live action and sometimes that works really, really well sometimes you can blend the two really well but obviously this is still 1999 visual effects aren't as good as they are today but they were still fantastic it was just those were the moments that showed the most age for the movie i would say but overall the visual effects were really well done they were incorporated really really well and also the use of practical effects a lot of the times was really good to see because 1999 is when you start to get movies that just overuse visual and like computer effects to the max where they make their whole movie just computer effect and it just ages so badly like think about some of the the James Bond movies that came out around now with Pierce Brosnan like they are just some of them are just overused visual effects monstrosities even if they are fun movies the effects just don't look that good anymore and a lot of movies can say the same around this time period so the fact that Galaxy Quest of all things a movie that you could probably have pitched for a lot cheaper if you had just use visual computer effects decided to use practical effects for a lot of things especially the aliens like the evil aliens and stuff like that even the good aliens that they called the termites in this movie a lot of the times they were also practical and so it was just a really cool thing to see that these practical effects were being used on a movie that you didn't necessarily need to take seriously in the production of it but they still did and the serious thing is something that I really love because again you don't need to take this movie seriously if someone was writing this Script, it would have been so easy just to have this be like some parody of Star Trek that makes fun of everything in Star Trek. It would have been so easy. It probably still would have made money and stuff like that. But the screenwriters of this movie or screenwriter, I don't know if it was one or multiple, they took the time to put a lot of care into this movie and you can really feel it on screen because while the comedy is really funny in this movie, there's some great quips, the character interaction is great. You really get a sense of who the characters are and why they are quipping and stuff like that and the different personalities personalities really combine and clash to create funny scenarios as well as the aliens like everything is really really funny in this movie but the serious stuff in this movie works just as well as the comedy and maybe for me that's just because I didn't expect serious stuff in this movie so when the serious stuff started hitting it was like oh there actually is serious stuff but I actually believe that it's well written things are set up and pay off later like the the hammer stuff by Gab grab Thar's hammer or something like that that's set up multiple times at the start and throughout the movie and then at the very end it is used by Alan Rickman's character and there are just like some moments of kind of maybe dread and sadness like when Mathazar is being tortured by the evil guy and he's like crying and stuff and he's like oh yeah and then and then Tim when Tim Allen it's really when Tim Allen says that he's lying to Mathazar that was a really serious and heavy moment like there are these heavy moments interjected by the more fun moments. And this movie isn't just straight comedy. There's characterization with every person in this from the aliens to the actual actors themselves and that's what I appreciated the most about this movie and I think that's why this movie is still known as well as it is because if it was just a straight comedy it would have been easy to do that but then the comedy wouldn't hit as hard upon multiple rewatches because you don't really you wouldn't really get a sense of the character as even like for example one of the reasons why the naked gun works is because the comedy is just so out there so either the movie would have to make comedy that is so out there or it has to do something like this where it creates characters that still interact with the comedy but some of the reason why the comedy is funny is because we get a sense of the characters and the only way to get a sense of the characters is to do something a little bit more serious at times and I thought the movie handled that and handled the balance of that really really well okay so I'm not gonna talk about the cast of this movie just because there is everyone deserves like the equal amount of time and that would take 500 years 
but I just want to shout out to <laughs> Tony Shaloub as Fred Kwan. He was the best character in the movie for me. I just loved how serious he was. There was that one point in the movie where Sam Rockwell's character guy was like, are you high? Like under his breath. And it was really funny. <laughs> but I was like, yeah, you know what? He just seems high the entire movie. But I loved him. Shout out to him. Shout out to Sigourney Weaver, Tim Allen, Alan Rickman, Sam Rockwell, Justin Long, Enrico Calantoni, and Daryl Mitchell as well. For some reason, Daryl Mitchell is under Rain Wilson in the cast, even though Daryl Mitchell is one of the main characters and Rain Wilson is in it for about five seconds. So that's a little, that's a little unfortunate but yeah shout out to all of them because they were all fantastic and also where's my galaxy quest sequel they got a sequel for the show in the movie where's my sequel of the movie because <laughs> i, I want to see these guys again i'm not even just the actors working together which would be awesome but i want to see these characters again because they were really fun to watch and they had this really awesome cohesion but at the same time the stalemate of minds where they hated each other but they also somehow liked each other and could sort of put up with each other even though they didn't want to put up with each other. And then as the movie progressed, I love just seeing the relationships build. So overall, really fun movie, really entertaining movie. And that is it for my review. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to these wonderful, beautiful, amazing people right here for supporting me and supporting my channel. It really does mean a lot. If there are movies similar to Galaxy Quest or similar to, like I, I guess similar to Galaxy Quest, just similar to the theme of Galaxy Quest or the tone of Galaxy Quest or any other cool sci-fi movies or fun sci-fi movies that you think I should watch, please let me know in the comments. I love hearing your guys' suggestions. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time for my next movie reaction.